divine light in me recognizes and bows to the divine light in each of you. My name is Desi Bartlett and thanks so much for joining me here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And during the course of the quarantine, I will be offering free yoga and free workouts here on YouTube. And then I'll also post content on Instagram so that you have resources. I believe that everyone should have tools that they can use as an outlet for their energy. Right now we're spending so much time in our houses and on the computer, we need, we need a release. And so this is my gift to you. Let's begin with the legs crossed and the hands at the heart. And I always like to start with three centering breaths. So we inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, bring your thumbs to your third eye and then to your lips. And finally, to your heart. Let's do this again. Inhale, reach up. So we have a gesture of clarity of thought and vision, clarity of speech, and clarity of emotion. Interlace the fingers and spin the palms to the sky. Inhale, look up. Exhale and round. Two more times. Inhale, let the heart rise through the gates of the arms. Exhale, round your spine, chin to your chest. And just one more. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Please bring your right hand onto the floor and the left arm comes up. And then simply begin to lean over. And this should feel pretty easy. If you want more of a challenge, bring your elbow down, but make sure that the opposite hip stays grounded. So as soon as you reach over, just make sure you're not tipping over. Press that left hip down. and change sides. Left hand down, right arm up, great big side stretch, and then maybe the elbow. Turn the heart to the sky. And come all the way up. Good, let's come forward to the hands and knees. See that your hands are shoulder width apart and your knees are hips width apart. I'm using the round mat from Manduka that I designed. And so I'm going to stay facing you. You don't have to stop and turn at any time. Inhale, look up. Exhale and round. Two more times. Inhale, gaze to the sky. Exhale and round, belly button in. Just one more, inhale, and tuck your toes, down dog. In your first down dog, let your heels be drawn by gravity down towards the earth as you press the hands into the floor. And from here, please just walk your feet wide and fold in a little deeper. Let's bring the feet in slightly. Turn your toes out and bring your forearms onto your thighs. This is called standing frog. And you can explore movement. So I just move a little bit side to side and you'll feel a stretch through the inner thigh, through the groin. And now engage your abs and lift your torso, but try to keep your knees bending down to a 90 degree angle. Reach the arms out to the sides. Bring your thumb and your index finger together. So in the practice of yoga, the thumb is the great activator and the index finger represents the element of air. So by bringing the thumb and the index finger together, it invites in a deeper breath. Stand up tall, nice work. 
Let's turn the right toes to the right and the left toes in. Arms reach out to the sides. Get really long through the right side body. And you can bring your hand to your shin or if you're a little more bendy, fingertips to the floor. Good. Ever so gently lean back a little bit in the upper body and make sure that this bottom side of your neck is long. So we want that shoulder to draw away from the ear and have a long, graceful neck as you gaze either down to the earth or up to the sky. Now I like to take these really straightforward postures and give you a little bit of a challenge for your core. So we're going to reach that top arm alongside the ear, continue to turn the heart skyward, and really easily put a little bend in the front knee, straighten the leg again, and straighten both arms. And you're going to feel your obliques. Breathe. One more. Come up. Nice. Let's return to standing frog. So you bend your knees again, turn your toes out, and just explore the movement. You can move a little side to side. Lift the torso, arms reach out, thumb and index finger together. This is called goddess pose. Challenge yourself to let the hips come down a bit if you can. One more big breath. Straighten the legs. And now turn your left foot out, right toes in slightly. We sweep the arms up to the level of the shoulders. Get really long through the side body. Maybe you bring your hand to your shin. Again, if you're a little more flexible, maybe it comes down to the floor. But wherever you are, enjoy a deep breath. And now, can you elongate that bottom side of your neck? So there's a tendency here for the shoulder to kind of wind up in the ear. And we spend way too much time like that on the computer. Create some space. And now the top arm sweeps alongside your ear. You put a little bend in the bottom knee just for the transition. Straighten the leg again, straighten both arms, turn your chest to the sky. And come up and release. One last time for goddess pose. And this time we'll work with the goddess pose to work our obliques. So both arms reach up, lean to one side, Back to the center, other side, back to the center. Let's do that a few more times, just moving from right to left with your breath. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Hands to the floor, wide-legged forward fold. Now please bring both hands to the floor, turn around into a lunge on the right. So your right knee is bending in front, your left leg is extended behind you. And if you'd like to move a little bit deeper, which is totally optional, you can bring both hands to the inside of the foot and then maybe come down to your elbows. And then if you still want more, bend the knee, 
Take hold of the foot and lean back into it. Maybe you even bring your heel to your bottom. And release. Let's walk it around to the second side. So start with the hip flexor stretch. Start with the stretch through the psoas. And then if you want to move deeper, you bring both hands to the inside of the front foot. Perhaps you move to your elbows. Perhaps you bend the back knee, come into the twist, and bring your heel to your bottom. I teach a lot of prenatal yoga, and although this is not a dedicated prenatal flow, it is safe for pregnancy. And release because there's plenty of space for your core. Let's bring it back around to the center. Hands to the floor one more time. Wide leg forward fold. Maybe you move a little deeper. And now hands come down to the floor. Bring your knees down, please. Separate your knees. And you should already feel a stretch there. And then bring your feet out to the sides a little bit and you should see or at least feel that your feet are equidistant so you might need to just look back and check it out and then come to your elbows and keep your hips elevated and now if you're pregnant of course don't put any weight on your abdomen at all I'm elevated above the floor. I have sort of a, a baggier shirt on, so you might not be able to see as well, but there's plenty of space between my tummy and the floor. And just like we moved side to side in Goddess, you can move forward and back a little bit here and find the perfect stretch. There's, there's an angle, there's an exact point that you're just gonna say, oh yeah, there it is. Good work. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Slide your knees together. And now take your right arm out to the side and thread it through under your left arm. You can lay on your cheek or the side of your head. You can reach the left arm forward if it feels nice or even wrap it behind you. So again, there's plenty of space between my abdomen and the floor. Hips are slightly elevated and we simply change sides. Okay. Left arm threads through and under. And bring it back to the center. Crisscross your ankles behind you and have a seat. I'd like to enjoy one back bend before we lay down into our final relaxation pose. And today's practice is very much about balancing the right and the left sides of the body and the top and the bottom and the front and the back. So please choose a back bend that feels balancing to you. Feet will be about hips width apart. If you're moving into upward facing table with me, all 10 fingertips point forward and you lift your hips, maybe even letting the head and neck go back.
Slowly bring it down. And now cross your right ankle on top of your left outer thigh. Let your left knee drop in and across. So this is an open twist, meaning that both of my knees are moving to the side, but I don't cross the midline. So I'm not bringing my arms across, I'm not twisting the belly. And we move to the second side. So right foot comes down, left ankle crosses on top, right knee drops down and over to the left. And try to feel the back of both shoulders gently grounding as you breathe. And we're going to be moving into a side line Shavasana today. If you need a little bit more energy for the rest of your day or evening, I would lay on the right side. Otherwise, lay on the left side. And if you're pregnant, lay on the left side. And you can use your arm as a pillow. Simply close your eyes and relax. Feel the earth completely supporting you. Let your breath slow down, let your thoughts slow down. And let's come up to seated. Crossing the legs in a soft and gentle way. Let's bring the hands to the heart center. Leaving a little bit of space between the palms in the shape of a flame. And this flame is a metaphor for the light within that illuminates our path. The light in me recognizes and bows to the light in each of you. Thank you so much for joining me. May you be safe and healthy and happy. Namaste. Thank you. Today's practice was really focused on the obliques and getting into the strength in those muscles that support our waist. Now, during pregnancy, obviously you're not gonna do any kinds of crunches, but can you move side to side and that kind of work? Yes, yes for sure. Also, um, this kind of work is fantastic for folks who have perhaps compromised range of motion when it comes to coming forward. Maybe there's been low back injury. Maybe you're just regaining your strength after um, having some downtime. Whatever it is, no judgment at all. It's just a really nice way to start by strengthening the side body and feeling all of that strength move in towards the midline. And then you can start to use these muscles almost like a corset. And this corset wraps around and it helps to support you in everything that you do, whether you're seated or standing or walking. Thank you. <laughs>